Good morning, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ and Holy Mary. What a beautiful day, May 30th, the ascension of our Lord into the heavens to sit to the right side of our Father. And today it's Friday, Friday, and what are we celebrating today? It's in my heart for a reason. The visitation of our Virgin Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. What are two most amazing parties. And from now until December, do, do the count. It's nine months. And then Jesus was born again. <laughs> So, here, we wanted to remember, and me especially, I, I want to thank my mom for bringing me to this world. And I also want to bring, I, I want to I thank my mom to give him my faith, the way that, you know, she did it. And I want to thank my dad, too, for being part of it. If it wasn't for them, I would not be here. So I thank them. And at the same time, uh, I want to call the attention to these two companies. They are doing an amazing thing for us to wake up. And wake up in one sense is that in Georgia, they're going to sign... Uh, the governor is going to sign to abolish the abortion law that is there now. And um, we are so happy for that. But look look at what a Disney World and uh, also uh, Netflix did. They want to boycott this. Oh, really? They're going to boycott that? So what about Catholics taking out our subscription or not visiting Disney World. Is that the way it's gonna be? I'm gonna call you out Catholic if you call yourself Catholic. You need to see which which side you're gonna be fighting on because there's two sides. It's not three and you're gonna be in the middle. There's only two sides. God's side and the other guy's side. So you decide which side you're gonna go for it. So in our home, but we just sooner we get it together, we're gonna take our uh, Netflix out of the system and I say goodbye. And uh, my kids, when they ask me, hey, Dad, can we go to Disney World? I gotta explain them why we're not going. But when we die, we gotta we gotta answer somebody that is bigger than anybody and we don't answer to the money god of money we answer to the god that it take us to heaven reading for the prophecy of Zephaniah chapter 3 uh, verse 14 to 18 so who today doesn't call himself a catholic and I'll tell you this, it's because they haven't read this uh, reading today. If you, if you see how beautiful this reading is, the only talks about a party eternally. And who doesn't want to be in a party for eternity? I'll tell you who. The one that was there and they got kicked out. But our Archangel St. Michael. Do you remember that one? So he wanted to take a lot of a lot of us with him. And uh, this is one, one simple example of 
how I can make that happen if we don't wake up Catholic wake up so the other thing is uh, how the sin uh, the, the, the prophecy oh when when uh, when he says uh, sing daughter of Zion Cry, cry out, Israel. Rejoice and exalt with all your heart, daughter of Jerusalem. Yahweh has redrawn the judgment against you, and he has driven your enemy away. Yahweh, king of Israel, is your mistress. You will no longer fear no evil fear no evil reading of the apostle Paul to the Romans chapter 12 verse 9 to 16 when we listen to this letter um, this is something that I, I was like to bring this to our time because in our church We have so many different groups. And when I when I hear this letter that he was telling the Romans, at the same time I look at I look at our group, sometimes they have differences in our church. All the different groups. There are so many. And the catechumens, the sons of daughters of the Virgin Mary adoration of the Eucharist pro-abortion against you know pro-life no pro-abortion sorry about that and also the Marian movement of priests and they're always fighting each other so like who wants to to roar who wants to say the last word and I just invite all of you to come and to sense and to read this this letter to the Romans the cantico that we have the songs of prayers we have for today it's Isaiah uh, 12 And it says like this, In that day you will say, I will praise you, Lord, although you were angry with me. Your anger was turned away, and you have comforted me. Surely, God, it's my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, It's my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord Himself, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wheels. draw water from the wheels of salvation in that day you will say give praise to the Lord proclaim his name make known among the nations that he has done and proclaim that his name is exalted sing to the Lord for he has done glorious things let this be known to all the world shout aloud and sing For joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. Reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Uh, Lucas. And here, <laughs> oh, I don't know, here is one of the 
amazing things that um that sometimes people misunderstand and uh when you when you get to know the mother of Jesus you really get to respect her and there's a lot of people out there especially in this new new denomination they're not even they're not even more uh, older than 60 years and all they do is to disrespect our mother and the thing is uh, they haven't read this because uh, when we go back to to here uh, we say um, when when she went to visit Elizabeth and I want you to, to record this in your head Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary the child in her blossom jumped with joy and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit that's why sometimes when you don't know the mother of Christ the mother of Jesus sometimes you you, you speak and you say things and, and they're very hurtful things and um, I, I wanna I want you to to to, to put this in your heart when, when, when Elizabeth sat and I crying it with a loud voice she said blessed are you among the women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus without you one the Jesus I put it because it's the hell Mary that we we said all the time and from where Elizabeth said from where is to, to me that the mother of my Lord comes to me see how humble she is there's like two very humble women and you know that the lineage of the what they came was from the lineage of the priesthood you know and I I want to hear Mary the way that she enjoyed the the, the scriptures I mean the way they the there's that love in between her. That's why every time I see her, the way it just gives me goosebumps. The way that her special attention, that's why God chose her to be the mother of his son. And then she, Mary replied, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has set my eyes on the humility of his slave. So for now and all generations, all generations, even you that you start a new church, remember this, all generations we call her Bless. Because the mighty has done wonders for me. Holy it's his name. And his mercy reaches from generation to generation to those who fear him. And those that are not really into the plan of respecting the mother of Jesus. You don't fear God. <laughs> how can you, how can you do that? It's like it's like a very, a very dumb thing to do. With all my respect. So I call everybody out for be part of the boycott against those companies that are trying to boycott something that for us it means a lot because it's life life Elizabeth at the Virgin Mary inside it was Jesus it was our Savior and you know he gave his blood look red blood and the cross and the cross he 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 went as a 
as a sheep, sacrifice himself. But he stayed with us. Remember that moment? So I ask him, do not, do not let the river take you away. Um, I thank you again for bearing with uh, your brother in Christ, especially in this long 15 minutes. <laughs> I will um, ask you to share the video to your friends or family. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe it. We are going to be doing the best to come every day with the reflections in English and in Spanish. God bless you all. Enjoy the magnificent day and uh, today and, and just give love to others. Especially, let's protect the unborn. Thank you. God bless you.